In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how we got 115 leads for this real estate agent in 30 days. I'm gonna be breaking down the step-by-step -step process and our thoughts going into developing these campaigns, these different ad sets and the ads. So make sure you stay till the end so you can implement this stuff. If you're a real estate agent, you're a team, or if you're a social media marketing agency and you're just here watching this video, so let's get into it. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you coming back and watching another video. If you're not subscribed, click that button, like the video, comment down below, help me out, run up the subscriber count. We're leveling up. I got this mic. We're trying to figure out with the editor. He's going to implement the audio file and stuff like that. We filmed some podcasts. We have a bunch of uh, different gear. I figured I might as well start implementing this stuff for my personal YouTube videos. So the audio should sound actually much better. I have a decent shotgun mic on the camera, but uh, it's nothing like these sure mics. So I figured I started implementing this stuff and make the video sound a lot better. But regardless, uh, in today's video, I posted one last Thursday, kind of along the same lines of going over how we got X amount of leads for a mortgage broker. Today's video is all about real estate agents. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how we got 115 leads for this real estate agent in Ontario in 30 days. So first and foremost, before we actually just jump onto my laptop and go into their ads manager and the back end of their go high level, I want to kind of walk you through our thought process and where exactly we were at when we got 115 leads in 30 days. So this is actually going back to May. I like to go back in certain ad accounts and kind of see what we're doing things differently. You know, if there's good months with certain agents, I'll kind of, you know, write it down or save it so I can go back and look and kind of see what we did in that specific month. So when we got this agent 115 leads, it was actually like two months into already starting with her. And it was when we went into phase two of split testing and we were split testing a bunch of different copies. So that's actually what took off. We were running all the same creatives and we started running different copies. And then all of a sudden, uh, different copies started to explode with a good creative that we found. So the reason why I'm saying this is because it doesn't always happen in the first month or the first month and a half, it might take a little bit of split testing to actually see what's going to work. And that's what I try to stress to all these realtors that I jump on an actual discovery call or sales call with is that this does not happen overnight. Now it can, we've had success stories of individuals getting a listing in three weeks and it closing a week after we've had clients where it takes them three months to get something in fruitation and actually close a deal, but we're booking them appointments. So that's why I wanted to bring up that point because this did not happen in the first two weeks. This was like two and a half months of trying to split test and develop new campaigns, ad sets, ads, creatives for this individual. And then all of a sudden something actually finally, you know, took off. So for those of you that didn't watch the last video about how we got X amount of leads for a mortgage broker, I'm going to kind of tell you what our split testing process is like. So we kind of go through three different phases. The first phase for the real estate agents is we'll always kind of use the exact same creatives or somewhere along the lines of the same stuff that we know has worked in the past or run the exact same primary text, exact same headline that we know works usually the best in most areas. So we'll run that. We'll spend 50 to $70 per ad on ad set. So we'll see, you know, what's actually working. If a creative starts to take off or if a certain, you know, ad starts to take off, if it's already doing good, perfect. What we'll do is we'll try and optimize it. Phase two to split testing, we do all different primary text. So we keep the same headline, kind of the same like offer, but we do all different primary text. If one starts to take off out of that, awesome. We try and optimize it again. We do all new headlines, all different offers and see what works from there. Then phase four is kind of just maybe different targeting, different radiuses and kind of going through that process. But if something like takes off right away and it's getting like an excellent cost per lead, then we'll probably just roll with it because at the end of the day, that's all you're really looking for. But uh, enough with going through this stuff. I basically just want to come on here, show you guys her, you know, ads manager, her back end of her go high level. And hopefully it helps some of you guys out with the ads you're running for the real estate agents, or if you're a realtor watching this, you can kind of implement uh, maybe some of this stuff yourself. So without further ado, let's jump onto the screen here. So we're in the back end of our ads manager. Now there's some contacts about this individual. They're a solo realtor, like I said, operating out of Ontario. So they're running on a $20 a day ad budget, which would be 600 a month Canadian if we're absolutely maxing it out. So we were only running four different ads, four different ad sets, split testing from the ad set ABO, just running $5, $5, $5, $5. And uh, this is essentially what we're doing. So as you can see, it's all the same collage. Clearly we got out of the phase one of split testing and realized that this collage was getting the best click through eight. So we said, okay, we're still not getting a good cost per lead. Let's change up and run, you know, a bunch of different copies. So as you can see, when we did that, they all started to kind of take off. Like they're all getting $3.80 cost per lead, $4.97, $3.62, $5.25, all great click through eight. So they all just started to do well. And it was just due to the copies that they weren't working before. So I'll preview this stuff. That's what the creative looked like was just a simple home collage. Uh, this is one of the copies we we're running. 
saying attention Windsor got on a custom li- custom search that sends you live updates 24 7 daily updates with new homes that fit your criteria see your custom list of homes now headline was get your custom list uh, attention Windsor here's what our clients are doing to save thousands of dollars in rent every month owning your own home is the most cost effective thing you can do to save yourself from paying someone else's mortgage the market is fine to stabilize and this is the best time to enter to grab the best deal let's chat and see what you're looking for same call to action same headline Windsor first time home buyers rare opportunity to receive a custom list of homes filled our survey using the link below so we can send you a tailored list that fits your needs same headline and then our most common one attention Windsor get a custom list of homes get a customized list sent directly to you see your custom list now so those are the different copies we're running on the same creative uh took off got the results that it got and resulted in getting 115 leads in the month of may which was quite some time ago but like i said uh, inspired me to film this video because i was just looking back at ad accounts uh bookmark this month clearly for this client to go check and see what we're doing and uh, i just like to look back at stuff to see if i get any new ideas and whatnot spent 455 dollars average cost per lead of three dollars and 96 cents average click through rate of 8.71 percent 54,000 impressions 18,000 accounts reached so all that is great so now i'm going to show you guys the back end of our go high level just to, to kind of show you guys what what that actually looks like so if someone comes in what happens is they fill out an instant form it's an auto filled form their name email phone number that's what we get right away and they trigger the automations that we have set up so um, i'll kind of show you the back end of the automation triggers this lead form create an opportunity send the agent notification and then we send out greeting messages we wait send out you know pushing them to fill out the survey we check in once again uh, are you ready to get into a home don't lose thousands uh, book an appointment so we send out a couple different text messages a couple different emails uh, just to constantly kind of get in touch with these people and you know try and get an appointment keep in contact and then they go into the pipeline buyer seller pipeline connection made as you can see she has you know 25 connections made all the automated conversations and this is just where we do all of our service delivery is from go high level this is kind of the back end where she sees everything that's going on but yeah guys that's all i wanted to go over with you i just kind of want to show you the back end of the account hopefully it helped you out with some you know new creative ideas or new copy ideas uh, i appreciate you coming back to watch subscribe comment below some questions you have or some videos you'd like to see and uh, i'll see you in the next one peace Thank you.